Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Radha Pada Pankaja Prabhu and Sandhani Mataji have one child, a son, Gaur Keshav Das, recently initiated, who is how old? He's 18? about to be 21 now. Oh, 21. 21. Okay. Um, and he was an autistic child. Yes. And it's quite an exceptional story how he came out of that background and has really flourished. You were in Krishna consciousness how long when you had this child? Uh, we were just three years, Guru Maharaj. Just three years in Krishna in consciousness. In Krishna consciousness. And when did you come to know that he was autistic and how did you react to that? Uh, it was in the year 2004 when he was one and a half year. We had gone to a pediatric doctor in Mumbai and she found that something was different in the child. And she did mention but we did not take a cue of it. We thought it's too young. he's too young, one and a half year. But in 2005 when we went to the same doctor, she persisted back in vacation that Rohit she called me by my karmi name that there is no harm in checking. Why are you so reluctant? Parents can make a gross mistake if not caught in the right time. And uh, we managed to catch hold of one of the best uh, pediatrician doctor in Asia, Dr. Rajesh Udani, in Bridge Candy Hospital, Mumbai. And within half an hour, he checked and he said that your child is an autistic spectrum. Hmm. And we never knew this word, what it was like. Never even heard of it. Never yeah. even heard of it. And we, I asked him, I said, what is this? Is this a disease? He says, no, it's a disorder. It's a brain dysfunction, a disorder. And uh, it was a setback for me. I did not take her for the analysis because knowing I had a gut feeling something could be there. Because there was no eye contact. The child who was doing so well in 18 months suddenly did not respond at 30 months, so we were, we didn't know what to do. What was that, at 18 months? Uh, till 18 months he was a normal child. He was a normal child. 18 months. Yeah. yeah, but after his uh, DPT boosters that yeah. they give, when we yeah. give the vaccinations, yeah. uh, we yeah. had after a very strong feeling that something went wrong over there. With the vaccinations, yeah, vaccination it's, it, there's the... There. It's common, there's a common uh, suspicion, which is vehemently denied in orthodox medical circles, that vaccinations cause autism, because can cause autism. There was a so lot. after the vaccination, yes, yeah, yes, because I have the videos of pre and post, yes. and we were shell-shocked to see that. But that time we didn't realize. When this report came in 2005, then I went into a research mode actually, doing mm. so many researches. And I found that there is a lead-based additive called thimerosal, which is oh. added in the... And it, it had got a statement telling that this could affect one in hundred child. One in a hundred? That's yes. quite a lot. Yeah. yeah. And, but they could not, affect. And they did not specify or did anything. And we... Well, you, you weren't told about that before no. the vaccine. Is it compulsory by law? It's compulsory? Here it is compulsory Here because compulsory. we have to go and take and show it for in, the school admission. In, and in the United thing. Arab Emirates yeah. where we are sitting right now. And these were all actually imported from the US basically. They don't have their own stock. And these have got a shelf life of five years. Normally vaccinations don't have that life. It just and dies The lead off. keeps it... Yeah. yeah. And uh, But there were some reports which we found in the Indian medical journals, it was quite an extensive research for me because I was trying to gauge how to and uh, then we got into touch with a doctor over here who was Dr. Udani's younger sister and she was an expert in this. Are you having a problem sitting? No, no, it's okay. That will keep shaking. You have a little Parkinson's. Yeah. yeah. So then we came to this doctor and she made it worse for me by giving him a sedative called Resperidil which is like it sedates the child for seven to nine hours because he was hyper. So after a month, I had a chat with her. I told her, I said, doctor. And you daily I was being given? Daily, daily 0.25 yeah. ml. 
So I was not happy with that. I told him that. I told the doctor. I said, Doctor, why? Are you? She said, I'm the doctor. Your child is hyper. I said, Yeah, but this is brain dead because I went and researched the respiratory and it's got a serious effect on the brain functioning of the child. So then she came out with a very weird statement. She said, Okay, we will give you vitamin A supplements, and it has to be given in a quarterly or oral tablets. And again, I had that. By that time in 2004, you had initiated me in June, and 2005 we got to know that he is having this problem. So she said, "It's a medication. Why don't we give?" I said, "Sandini." She said, "It's a medication. Why are you thinking it's fish?" I said, "Let's wait." And for us, <coughs> it was God sent that from your Europe trip, you decided to go via Dubai. That was March 2005. Approximately for two days, you came here. And I was ready to rest. At least I could come and tell you. And then we <coughs> presented the report, and you just said one thing. You said, "Radha Padma Mukherjee." The doctors can be very critical and funny at times. They will give you some names which even you they don't understand. Just give him Krishna Prasadam and learn him, make him to chant the names of Krishna. Because other than that, that, you can give some other things, like the carrot or something carrot like juice, that. Which similar to that, is, you can say. Yeah, so so like that's what juice. you said, Burma. And when I went with this, she said, "No, it should be animal based only." I said, "Doctor, I don't buy that point." Why the plant will not work? He said, "No, no arguments. Otherwise, you can stop the treatment." And that day, I stopped the treatment because because of giving the treatment, I was in debts. She would charge me 400 dirhams per sitting, two days a week, to twice a week, so eight times. It used to go around three, three and a half thousand dirhams. And yeah. My total salary was five thousand. And just Guru Maharaj, he was just speaking to us that this way, this way, this way, things you have to do. And she was not doing anything therapy like that. She was telling us to do the parents. You have to do that. Okay, I said. Now I have learned everything. Better, I'll do everything for him now. So mm. at that point of time, we both decided that we will work with him on personal grounds because we lost the faith in the doctor. I had got an astrological check done for the child in 2006 under the instruction of His Holiness Jayapatak Swami Maharaj. Mm -hmm. We were in Shridham Mayapur. He said that check what is his past birth and check what is it because he seems to be a unique child. He is not normal, but he is divine because Keshav Das had a problem of you know going in circles. The autistic mm -hmm. children mm -hmm. and they don't fall. Uh, what do they do? They spin round and round. They yeah. spin round and round on their heel. Oh. And with full speed, so and he was like jumping a, like down. a whirling dervish. Yeah, yeah. So in Mayapur, he was doing that. In Sri Mayapur, in front of Panchatattva, he was dancing. And Jayapatak Maharaj happened to be just stood. He said, "Children are not allowed. What is he doing there?" So we said, "Guru Maharaj, he is our child." He said, "Bring him here." And then hmm. he instructed us. He said, "Check. He seems to be a different child, but take care of him. He will be a nice devotee." And coincidentally, it sort of happened that the astrological check was done, and we did come to know that he was a fallen yogi in the past birth. But then that was the our we just moved on from there, mm. and I started to contact doctors in the U.S., uh, Germany, South Africa, and India for trying to understand how to go about because we thought of going for contemporary medicine like naturopathy or homeopathy or Ayurvedic. Because allopathy had nothing except sedation. It seemed to make it worse. <coughs> hmm? from, from your description, it seems to make it worse. Yeah, yeah. or, or it, it, it compounds the. Yeah. the and the, because there the is problem. no, it's, there is no treatment, Guru Maharaj, for that. Hmm. But our efforts to make him chant because he didn't speak till the age of yeah, five, seven. five or six. After seven, he started. After seven, he started to speak. But we were persistent with him. That he has to learn, so we would keep playing <coughs> Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. We would keep chanting stutis of Bhagavatam, and he would listen and he would blabber. So Guru Maharaj, when we were doing in Kartik Purnima, when we were doing puja, <coughs> Damodarati, I just forgot one stanza, and he started, and he started, and he, he didn't. Utter a word before that. He started uh, with Damodarasti. Uh, he he got faltered at the Namaste to Damnes Purat Dipti Dam. And he just filled it in. He, he filled, filled it in. The whole verse. The yeah. whole verse. Yeah. Whole verse. Yeah. And we looked oh. at him that he never says Mama, Papa, or anything, but he was chanting. <laughs> oh, that reminds us of Puri Das in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Leela, who wouldn't say anything. 
We were really shell shocked. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu <laughs> wanted to have him to chant, and Actually, he wouldn't yeah. chant. And he said, "I made the whole world chant, but I couldn't make this boy chant." And then, and then at one point, his first words was a beautiful shloka describing Krishna. Yes, Guru Maharaj, whatever he needed, he will just look at it, and he will not even, you know, talk about it. Then later on, when I just ask him, "What you need?" And I said, say this, you win. Then he started with word, then sentence, and like that he started. And this Dhamadara stuck up. I was really shell-shocked to listen. Because uh, the way she dealt with the child with so much of patience and so much of perseverance, I just told her one thing, if Guru Maharaj has said this, let us do it, because I don't see there is any reason for us to think that it will not happen. But let's not be hasty in thinking that things should happen immediately. It has its time. Because I could see that, you know, the boy was, when I would do my deity worship, he would stand yeah. and watch. <laughs> mm. He would come and remove Bhagavatam and give me. He says, Papa, you have to read. By action, read. And then I would say, yes. How old was he at this time? At that time, he was four and a half, four or five. <laughs> so he used to see that I have a daily practice of keeping the stand and putting the Bhagavatam and reading. One day I would forget, he would look at the clock. I don't know how he realized. Say, it's time for you to read. So he will remove and keep it and put it in the book, he said. Then he will come and sit beside me and listen. So we could see that there was a point that he is not meant to be doing the normal things. Yeah, even Abhishek also, he will just say, I want to do seva like that. And he would come with my deities and he would put the water and then we saw that, okay, he can be groomed in that way. So we, we would send him to the school. But I was not very happy, but... A special school? Special, no, we no, were in a normal, normal school, school, but they had a special education board for such people of determination. So my concern was that if he goes to the school, they said you have to shadow him. Yeah. So she went for two years, then they said the school... That means you have to be there Yeah, be with there. the child. <coughs> three so years I was with him. Three years she went with the child in the same in the school. <laughs> to pay the money for the bus. Yeah, yeah. So then they said we cannot have mothers coming in, we want a special educator. And my concern was if a special educator comes, then they will have their own and they were mostly from different backgrounds, like Arab backgrounds and Filipino backgrounds. Yeah, two, three months we tried, right? And, they're all, and then they want to feed him meat. Yeah, yeah. and uh, so then I started looking in a devotee community. I said, if somebody has the requirement for some money, I can better give it to a devotee. That is where Chaitanya Gunga and Prabhu's wife, Medha Janma Mataji, they were going through a little bit financial crisis. I said, Mataji, I have a request. Please take over this child. Because it's better that a devotee... But she was trained in that way? Guru Maharaj, she wasn't trained, but we persisted with the school authorities that she will be the lady. But she knows the, the child. mother is not allowed. They don't allow the mother but to come. But we don't allow the mother. Yeah, they don't it has know. to be someone else. Some other. Guru Maharaj, that was a money-making policy. Money -making they had policy. 10 or 12 teachers so that we could give the money to the school. But I put my foot down, I said... Even they were finding difficult in school because mothers were gathering and talking and they were finding that thing was difficult yeah. for them. That is the Then they is. swapped over for three months that different mothers would yeah, take care different of the children. Mothers swapped will the take mothers. Swap the mothers But like that, that didn't work with some children. Because yeah. Some children got very cranky. Keshavdas was okay. And uh, what came after that was very different actually. Once Medha Janva Mataji started to be with him, so it was a devotee care. So it started to bloom. So slowly Keshu started to get his confidence and she's a very persistent lady, very strict and all. So and she knows the child since birth. She knows the birth. child since birth. So we felt that, you know, a devotee is taking care of the child. Because we have seen the other nannies taking care. It was just, they would leave. For the some child. time he was under the... Almost four years. For some time he was under non-devotee. Yeah, just almost yes. three months. Three months like and that. And we could see like... And he was like getting him. cranky with that. She she was not allowing him. He was telling, I don't want to go to school like that. Hmm. And it so happened that in 2007 we had a small session of children doing some, you know, allocation, giving speeches on Prabhupada's Leela and some of hmm. So this child, he was crying, he said, I, because he just began to speak. And I said, Keshav Das, you are not one of them. He said, no, I will go and speak. Then he took the mic and he went and recited the whole Damodara Shtakam. And he gave the meaning of that, how Lord Krishna did the Leela. And we were like, we have never seen him, seen him speaking so much. That was the first time in 2007 he spoke the full length of 10 minutes. And how old was he then? Uh, he must have been around 7-ish, just 7-7-ish. Mm. Seven, that is the time he started to speak. Uh, 
uh, within a year, two years time, then we removed him from the school because uh, I was not happy with the uh, school. What happened was, I passed by the school, it's a British O level school actually. They have a good system, but they also had a very different way of dealing with the children. I saw the children passing down the corridor, coming and the boy and the girl kissing each other. Hi, good morning. Once I saw that, I said, the last thing I want Keshav is to learn is because he won't even understand the meaning of this because mm. he still had the comprehending problem. I came and I told her, I said, Sandini, I intend to homeschool the child. She said, how? I said, see, this is what I have seen. This child is very innocent. He will get into some kind of things. And mm. it was a burning desire for me to remove him out from that. But it took three months for, for me to convince her. She said, what will you do at home? I said, teach him the household jobs. No, oh, he's, how come? I said, teach him, cooking, cutting, everything. The boys need to be trained, I said. I think he's in a group. So who will do it? I said, I will work out the plan. You see how it works. And we got a book from Aruta Devi Dasi, Homeschooling Krishna Conscious Children. And that is the time his Orinas, Vigna Vinash and Nachinga Maharaj passed by Dubai. Mm. And he was a great advocate of this homeschooling thing. Mm. So we sat, he was sitting over here and we told him, Maharaj, this is our idea. He said, you should do it. It will help a lot because don't send him to school, they will spoil him. We showed his case to him and Maharaj said, okay. And a week later, his name was Jayadvat Swami Maharaj came and we spoke to him also. He said, yes, it should be done. Try it. Then we showed Prabhu, he was very skeptical. He said, why are you spoiling his life? I said, Prabhu, one year. If it doesn't work, I'll send him back. But I need to experiment it. Then they said, you will not tell this in the Yatra. I don't want anybody else to follow these footsteps. Then I said, it's okay, because we have to understand that. I said, we are not here to propagate something. For my child, what I feel is right, I'm doing. It is every parent's prerogative to decide on that. We are not here to preach or practice this thing, but I will. And when we took it, Guru Maharaj, and the Krishna Prasadam was on, and slowly he started to do things. We made a first timetable. We yeah. just put maths and science, basic English. That's it. Some understanding about how things are. Nothing Who is else. teaching? Maharaj? Yeah. All the three subjects she was teaching. I got the book from the local market over here for grade 5. I gave it to her because she has been a kindergarten teacher herself. So mm. that came over there. So we made a template over yeah. there. Timetable. Timetable in the day. And Keshav Das would come and yeah, see. Yeah. Imagine in the morning it will be, Aarti will be there, Guru Aarti will be there. Everything it will finish till 8 o'clock. Then 8 o'clock afterwards you will start studying. Mm -hmm. So we gave him a full program in the morning as yes. we had in the in the Iskon temples and <clears throat> he would do that happily. Once we brought him home, Guru Maharaj, his mentality changed. He was at peace. There was no pressure in the school because, you know, in the school once he came at home, he said, Papa, I don't want to go to school. He said, Arabic sucks. I said, hey, why are you telling that? He said, they are forcing me to speak Arabic. Actually, the school authorities played a game with us. This child was supposed to be only single language spoken because of autism, so that he does not get confused. The school agreed that Arabic won't be there. Once the government of Dubai inspector came, they said, your child is high functioning. The problem was, of all the other autistic children, he was far better. But he was not up to the mark to the normal children. So he was like Trishanko. Very high somewhere in between. Yeah. So the authorities cancelled his uh, request for Arabic exemption. They said he has to study and what these people did without telling us, they put him in the Arabic class and they started to speak in Arabic and this boy, he was out of the thing. First period will be First Arabic. Period will be Arabic. Mm. Oh my God. In three months time. He was getting irritated by that. So then she agreed because she could see that, it was I could see a plan of Krishna actually how he yeah. wanted to come out of it and eventually the homeschooling three years was phenomenal. He learned cooking. He learned household jobs, he learned deity worship and uh, during the Paniyati festival of 2013 we were behind Swarup Damodar Prabhu to take him for a teaching the music and he was reluctant, he said, this child I cannot control, I said Prabhu. So she was persistent for more than six months. Eventually on Paniyati day he said, I'll come tomorrow for one hour and test him. If I find okay, I said, yeah, please. So he had a split shift. Swarup Damodar. 
he teaches children. That's Singing. what he does. He teaches children at that time, Guru music Guru and yeah. kirtan. He didn't start. He didn't start. He started time. with Keshav. He, was, oh. he yeah. was working with Govinda's restaurant as a business development manager. Yeah. Oh, I see. Was his desire was to teach kirtan, and he started with Keshav, yeah, and then he went Kesha. on to do yeah, some yeah. others. Because uh, he was not happy with the job. Over Keshav there. was his he first child. So issues, and he asked me. He said, Prabhu, what do you feel? I said, Prabhu. You can because you are a very good teacher. And then he said, I will sit with Keshav. He gave Keshav some ragas and he picked it up. He said, the boy has a good aptitude. I'll agree. And every day in a split shift duty, Guru Maharaj, he would come to my house two days a week and teach Twice him. a week, yeah. And he taught him 32 ragas, Guru Maharaj, and this boy picked it in 51 days. Hmm. All the 32 ragas. And without seeing, he would play the harmonium. And we were like, he said, Prabhu, this child is exceptional. I am going to teach him everything. And see again, Guru Maharaj, your, in your presence, he did the first public program. If yeah. you remember in Narottam Krishna Prabhu's house, he had come for 10 minutes. His new house was in taken Golden in Golden Sands 9. And you were inside, and Kesho was given to harmonium and we requested to come. You came and you listened to him, and that was the beginning of his yeah. Kirtan. Yeah, yeah, publicly. So you happened to be in his life yeah. every time, Guru. <laughs> yeah. And we were like, you know, having goosebumps actually. I said, see, and you just gave your nod and you went away. I yeah. <laughs> shared that video. So that is the most cherished video for us. And after that Kirtan finished, you had left already with Yashodana Ben Prabhu. Shrivala Prabhu took the mic and he said, I want every Damodar Desh child to go to Swarup Damodar Prabhu. And that's how Swarup Damodar Prabhu's career of teaching the children started. Because he was not happy with the material things. And now his children are also following the homeschooling pattern from what from Zen Foundation. Which, which children? His, his, his own, own children, children also. Now he is no. not sending them to school. Not sending them to school. So they found that Kesha was developing and uh, the Kirtan became his uh, fond thing. You know, he would sit with harmonium for hours mm -hmm. and chant the holy names of the Lord. And then we slowly inculcated asking him to read some books, but he could not comprehend because he didn't have that capacity to understand. But one thing what happened was, the actual... Story. How old was he when he did his first public kirtan? Uh, he must have been 11 or 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. 12 years, 2013, yeah, 10 years back. Now, it's quite common that boys and girls at that age do it, but at that time it wasn't very common, I think. No. That age, nobody, and Shrivalab started to then take him around for all the programs. He said, Let's let your son come with me. Mm. And he would go and play harmonium for everybody. Then he started mm. to learn Vridanga and uh, Kartals. And leading Kirtan. And leading Kirtans and all that. And uh, it so happened that uh, Guru Maharaj, uh, we told Swarup Prabhu that, let us take Srila Prabhupada's often quoted verses from Bhagavatam and teach it. Mm. So we taught that, we got that book of Srila Prabhupada where often quote verses in Srimad Bhagavatam. And he went on to by heart around 90 odd verses in that and he would recite daily in front of the Lord. I Which said, in autism you can't expect. No, no. So he's coming out of the autism. Yeah, he came out tremendously Guru Maharaj between the period of uh, once he learned to sing for the Lord. The prashadam aspect was there and our monitoring was there. And, and normally autistic children they don't come out of it, is it? How, how, what happens to them as they grow up? Guru normally? Maharaj, when they are child, when they are small, at that time they should be taken immediately out. But normally what happens if they go to, if he'd have stayed in the school, what could you have expected? Guru Maharaj, he would have come to a level of some kind of uh, communication skills, but will always be dependent on someone to do something. That hyperactivity won't go away, Guru Maharaj. And that also was the, the comprehension thing. skills, because uh, what we did over here, Guru Maharaj, I forgot to tell you one thing was, again in 2006, we happened to meet an Ayurvedic doctor. And I told him that this is what is this. He said, see, I don't understand this medical terminology of autism, what they say. We will take it as, we will take it as he is in the mode of Tamagun. And That's what the Ayurvedic doctor said. Yeah, Ayurvedic doctor. He said, from Tamogun, we'll open his Agne Chakra and enlighten him. So he gave me Swarna Bhasma tablets. One hmm. tablet of 49 rupees. He would put 24 karat gold in that and make it and give me for three months. So that was a pretty expensive affair. But Guru Maharaj, that Swarna Bhasma turned it around for him. Because he was below five. He said, until the age of five, Swarna Bhasma will definitely turn around. Whatever you say, whether it is autism or schizomania or whatever. 
the child has to be given. So many of them, our relatives were skeptical. They said, Rohit, you are spending so much money. Are you sure? I said, listen, other than faith on Krishna, we have nothing. Let us try whatever is possible. So I got that medication and I offered it to them. I said, my dear Lord, by your name I am doing this. If you feel it's okay, you did it. But that medication almost got him out by 70% Guru Maharaj. Mm. It was for one year. Yeah. And then Krishna connects Guru Maharaj. You know, once we go by what you say, there is the Lord's mercy is flowing. We could see that. At the right time, right people came in his life, mm. did their job yes. and went away. And from Sindhudurg, we got one elderly lady, Dr. Jayashri Joshi, very elderly. Her expertise was she would see the astrological chart and make the medication. Mm-hmm. So she made certain pathy. things, naturopathy and all, and those used to come from Sindhudurg for customs for two years. Again, that brought him to the next Where is it? Sindhudurg. Sindh- uh, Maharashtra. Maharashtra and Goa border, it is Saman, uh-huh. near Samantwadi. So I asked that lady, I have never met her, I, we used to only write letters to each other. Uh-huh. So I asked her, I said, uh, Madam, how far you think? She said, two years should be enough from here now, and you will see a change. And it definitely made a change. So. Naturopathy and Ayurvedic works very well in this Guru Maharaj because, mm. I see, but they should have faith in that yeah. process. They should not expect that. But also the fact that you took him out of that school and then yourself, you you were with him all day, every day, uh, which mostly nowadays mothers don't. Well, many they just don't want to look after their children. Uh, They'd rather send them to school and go off and have a career for themselves. In 2011, I remember she approached you that she wanted. <laughs> She wanted to plan for a second child and your blessings was yeah. there. But I had told her only one thing. I said, Sandini, don't get me wrong. We can go for a second child, but the first child might get neglected. Because right now we should ensure to invest our energy in this child and try to make him something. He needs extra he energy needs extra investing. Energy. In I said, as a mother, once you have two children, it will be focus will be divided. She was a bit skeptical, but I said, try. And now, she feels that, you know, it was a wise decision on our part because I prayed, I said, I do not know what to do because I, there was so much of pressure because having a normal child is always a feel. But we have also seen within our own Yatra where the first child mm. got neglected when the second came and there was a stoppage in his progress. progress. In Keshav classes, in Gaur Keshav cases, cases, she agreed to it and I would give the whole credit to her. It is 20% me, I'm only doing the talking because I was planning plan A, plan B and she was executing. So she worked out and, and the mothers over here, Pallavi Radha Mataji, Yashoda Nandan's proposed wife and Medha Janva Mataji were like two mothers yeah. standing like pillars. Yeah, well I, in general I, I would recommend that Grihastas have at least two children. This may be a special yeah. case. Yeah. You know, we had a strong desire, but I could see Guru Maharaj that you know there was a chance that we could go down. We mm. never expected he will come to this level. This mm. was not our dream, but we felt that. What is that level now? He's he himself is teaching others. Yeah. Uh, during the COVID period, Guru Maharaj, uh, many children were at home just playing video games and all. So I said, Keshav Das. Why don't you teach them Purusha Sutta? You learn from Prabhu. So online... Who did he learn from? Sarabdhavadar Prabhu, yeah. So Sarabdhavadar Prabhu taught him Purusha Sutta, Shri Sukta, Pu Sukta. He's teaching him all the Vaishnava Manjiri Mantras. So Actually, he's he supposed to have Upanayanam before you recite them. Anyway, go on. <laughs> actually, we felt that the mantras were actually helping him to come yeah. out. Yes. You're, you're a Brahmin by birth. <laughs> but he, did, he just didn't get Upanayanam. So then we spoke to then Rupanuga Prabhu, Yashadanandan Prabhu's young son, Ananta, Madhupati's son, uh, Srinath, Vidyagati Prabhu's Vidyagati. son. So these were the first three children online he started to teach during COVID uh-huh. times. And those children, they picked up Purusha Sukta very nicely. And uh, then he started teaching them Mridanga online. And they started to pick up the Mridanga yes. online. And he was. He's a very strict teacher. Yeah, very strict he, teacher. No, no mistakes. No mistake. This is the, the pronunciation is not right. So he will be, keep on going. I mean, Guru Maharaj, time. everybody should be online on time. You know, if they are not on time, oh, you you can go now. So then I have to tell him, just calm down. He said, no, we have to be strict. There. I said, then you have to be strict yourself. But he came out of that spectrum and we could see that he could communicate to people, he travels alone. Now yes. the other children in the school, they started to ask, 
what have you done differently? I said, it is just the mantras and the prashadam. And but they couldn't believe they that. Could not they believe could that. not they believe that. They said, believe. no, this, this is not something. I said, you just tried one. And Guru Maharaj, see how Krishna takes care of this. Somewhere when he was in 2018, we felt that we should give him some basic vocational training just for his self sustainment. I was not looking for something. And he finished his 10th in NIOS and he came out with 74%. Yeah. Just five subjects. And Shivala Prabhu was all gaga about it. He said, <laughs> this child is better than the other children in my yatra. He said, what he has delivered, I'm proud of it. So he just gave him a small gold locket. He said, this is a gift for you. So he gave it to me. He said, use it for the deities. So Kesho, Lord Kesho said, what do I do with this? I said, offer to the deities. During Abhishek, we'll use it for the Lord. And he gave it to me. Hmm. So that, that was the, so then she said, can we do something for him? And we were just thinking, Guru Maharaj, of where to put him, because these are expensive schools, 5,000 dirhams a month they charge you to keep such children in the school. Mm. And my company policy changed, and I got the benefit of child education, 96,000 dirhams a year, mm. coming into the account. And I told her, I said, see, before even you think, the plan is there. We, are, we just have to have faith. And that money, till the time he was in the school, it was given. By the time we felt that he should be removed, the money also stopped because after 21 they don't give. Mm -hmm. So there he learned this. Another thing what happened was we said. What did he learn? I'm telling you. Huh. He is a single linguistic child, English. He learned Spanish. But at home he speaks. You speak Hindi at home among English, yourselves. English and Hindi both we speak. Huh. He picked up Spanish. He picked up Tagalog from the school. Uh, Sri Lankan, uh, this is what you say. Simhali. Simhali. And uh, Bangla. Bangla. Bangla, he is teaching. Now I understand that even that has been overcome. Like, you know, he speaks this language very fluently. Mm. When he goes to the Tagalog yeah. and speaks in Tagalog, they said, How do you speak this? And when he is with Sri Ram Prabhu, he speaks in Singhali. So. He has become a multilinguistic, so the school was suggesting that he only can one language. He can be a linguist, so they take him sometimes to the hotels and all. He speaks in Spanish. He speaks to them. So I asked Kesho where you learn. He said on YouTube, Papa. I'm learning. So I see that there is a self-progress mode now. And when we spoke to him of the initiation, he was reluctant. He said, "How will I do it?" I said, "No, you should have the mercy of Guru Maharaj. Do that." And Guru Maharaj, the statement we had only two principles, Guru Maharaj. You said Krishna Prasad and take him to chant. That became our ground. And she as a mother, she did her part relentlessly. I have not seen her sleeping for some time. I am not exaggerating. I was just making like a director. I was sitting, Sandini, we need to do this, do this. Plan A, plan B. Because I was in the touch with the doctors for his medication and mantras and all. And I, that's where actually my astrology journey became. I said, let me study myself because there was too much of confusion. Everyone <laughs> telling everything, I said, let me see what works with him. So I could understand what they said. And there were some areas which they told us to do a few pujas. I said, I will take him to all the Vishnu temples. So starting 2005 until date, every vacation we are in one of the Narayana temple or Krishna temple. We spend time and I ensure that he so goes. So been all over India visiting Vishnu temples. Yes. Yeah. Because I said, it, this is how it has to be done. No way that we will be going anywhere. Even there are some other temples, we'll go and do Namaskar. That's not a problem. But exclusively, I made it a point. 2006 was Mayapur, 2007 was Vrindavan, 2008 Pandrapur, 2009 Tirupati. So every year we go to, in 2014, Yashodhanandan Prabhu took us to Aabalam Dham. And we would, then we started taking people with us. So they became Kesha's friends. So that's mm -hmm. how we started to get a social life. Mm -hmm. And those children, they would go. And now you see these children who are there. Yeah, R.O. and all. But that. again, I reiterate, <laughs> I reiterate my statement that we sing Guru Mukha Padma Vakya, But in this case, it happened. Mm -hmm. And this is the proof of it that if we keep Aranag Mane Kuryasam, it will happen. We had no hopes. We had no clue, but we had the faith that we have to walk this path. But what came out when you gave him Gaur Keshoda's name, I was in tears. For us, it was a that, job done. That was my dream. <laughs> that one day. 
he, she told me about his daily session. I said, Guru Maharaj will definitely be very merciful, but we also have to. He read Bhagavatam now, he is reading Ramayana. I said, you don't stop here. And very mercifully, Yashodandandan Prabhu said, now you give him to me. I will train him in the Brahmanical deity worship. I said, he is your child from now on. Mm-hmm. And I convinced him today morning, he said, yes, I will go. Because he has a lot of... Uh, yes, that propensity. Yeah. yeah, he does. And he will, when he does the... Picks day, it up. Yeah, yeah, Guru Maharaj, he likes to take part in dramas and all that, you know. Yeah, I will also take part, you know. He, he, <laughs> he loves public speaking. Public Guru speaking. Maharaj, he does not he have likes. fear. He has done a lot of dramas on stage in the school. He is the center of attraction. Many people, they say how he works. We just told him, this is what we have practiced basically. Now slowly they are also coming to Krishna consciousness yes. with their children because they have daughters, which is more difficult. Son, at least we know that there is no danger of being abused or something, but daughters having... Well, they can be, but it's more common for, yeah. for yeah. girls also. So we thankfully, our thankful prayers to Srila Prabhupada and you, and of course, the Lord is there. So let's call him. <laughs> Is he there? Call yeah, Keshav? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hare Krishna. He regularly chants 16 rounds separately in Guru Maharaj. Then no you disturbance. Should, you should offer obeisances also to your parents who have just been discussing. <laughs> We've been discussing how they've, they've done everything for you. Come, you can come sit here. Slowly, Come and sit here. And the shikha part also was <laughs> done by him by himself. Oh, he can shave himself? No. Oh, but he decided he, he decided wanted to. to keep at the age of then he said, Dead. Papa, I want to keep Shikha. Guru Maharaj, he doesn't like to comb his hair. He said, I am bold hair. Yeah. Nice. He just goes and removes his hair and makes himself bald every time. He said, <laughs> no combing business. Just remove the hair, that's it. Doesn't so, feel like handing the comb eye every time. He said, please comb your hair. No, I don't want hair. Oh, please tell me. <laughs> so would you, what, would you like to tell Krishna. something Krishna. about your life in Krishna consciousness? Well, Maharaj, life in Krishna consciousness has been smooth and of late I have been, during the Kartik month, I have been invited for pro- many programs to sing Kratamudarati and to do the Kirtans during the Kartik month, but rest of the time I will come there and one of the devotees would always ask me to sing to Zihati every Sunday. Mm. Or Either Tuziati or Gaurati, I would play the Mridanga. Yeah, that's all I've got to say. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you for being very good parents. They say you are a fallen yogi in your last life. Probably most of us were. Something like that. We got born with some attraction for Krishna consciousness. That means we probably had something previously, but we didn't see it through. So now you have to see it through this time. Just go on chanting. Yes, Guru Maharaj, because that has been the goal of the life. Now that he is also, he supports us a lot. Now every week we have the Bhakti Vriksha, 40 people coming to the house for Bhagavad Gita club. He started to cook for 40 people now. Uh-huh. He says, Papa, let me do this. You both have to take... And he takes care of his mother very nicely. And that couldn't be expected <laughs> normally, normally for a child who had been in his situation. No, Guru Maharaj, because... They, they don't come up and do things yeah. like that. They, they practically they remain children their whole yeah. life. And they are good in things which are repetitive things. But he is not into that area. Not he does creative more. cooking, yeah. different things each Actually, time. Actually, mistake what the parents do. No? They just uh, don't allow the child to do anything. No, 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 don't do, don't do like that. Like a normal child, we should behave with such children. They are not behaving like an autistic. There was a when child psychologist from Germany, one lady doctor, in 2005 when I contacted her, she wrote a mail to me. She said, Mr. Verma, the mistake that you would do is pamper him thinking he's a special need child. 
If he has to be spanked for wrong things, he has to be spanked. Otherwise, how will he know that he is wrong? He said, do not pamper the child. And I used to be very tough with him. One day she said, you are a heartless person. I said, why are you telling that? No, you don't know he is a special. I said, Sandini, I know that. In my house, I was the hated, hated, hated person like you. He would, he, he would come and go and tell everyone, I hate my father. He is very tough. He is very tough. And I told him, I said, I would preferably like to be called as a hated person, but if it chisels his life out, and the result is there. Because I understood that doctor, she, was, she said, she was very firm. She must be in her late 70s that time. And she said, Mr. Verma, and she sent me a complete journal she shared with me, that how you should take care of it. So when yeah. I applied that, it became a problem in the house because the mother's heart was bleeding. <laughs> The son was retaliating and I was like, you know, very firm and he would look at me, oh, this guy is here now, what to do? Even today, <laughs> if I come home, he will just go to the next one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it doesn't <laughs> face to face. You know. I'm sorry to say that, but then my heart also renders for him. But the day he got initiated, I told him, you are my best friend now. So leave, leave bygones be bygones and let's work together. But he is very caring about me. One day if I don't come home early. Where are you? But in the house, he will have that feeling that my father is here, he will not be around. He will always take that. And they both, uh, when she was suffering from arthritis, he took over the whole charge of the house. Everything. Cooking, was. cleaning, feeding her. And he would not let her go to the kitchen. This is mama. And when she would go, he would call me, Daddy, you have to fire her. <laughs> She's not listening to me. The two years, Guru Maharaj, she was in the kitchen taking care of her. First day, he told me, he said, Dad, She's making me work like a servant. I said, come. We both went to the kitchen. We started to work in the kitchen at 11 in the night. I said, you know, when you were small, I told him about his autistic story. I said, this is what she did for you. And then he felt, he went and apologized. And from that day, Guru Maharaj, he says, for her, he will do anything. But when she tells me something, she'll say, dad is right, don't yeah. <laughs> What is that? When she tells me something, if we have something. He says, Dad is always right. Don't don't correct him. Yeah, yeah. You no, should listen to what he says. You should listen to Dad what he says. He's correct. He will not take my side at all. <laughs> so uh, we have had some great fun because of that homeschooling. We which as a family we gelled very well, Guru Maharaj. We had enough time. Even today, whatever he is doing, we have just sidelined, given him some idea about the digital media and all yes. where he can support himself if required. But more often I am just going to train him brahmanically so that he trains mm -hmm. the children. Yagya is what I am doing, I am going to train him in that because we require some qualified brahmanas in the society who just don't do it for the sake of Dakshina. And Guru Maharaj, by the grace of Krishna, whatever Dakshina comes, I have been always able to offer it to you or the other visiting sannyasis. We don't use it for our household. Yeah, account. not at all. It is always kept the whole year. And when sannyasis come, like last time when Jayadwit Maharaj was here, we gave him, this time you are here. Otherwise, I send it to the Salem temple for them. Mm. Because uh, we feel that right now we are not, we are earning. So that money we are keeping it exclusively for the Lord and his, uh, his. It has been a very good journey. By your mercy, we became brahmanas out of nowhere. I remember when you gave me my Brahmanical thread, he said, go and be a good Brahmana. And a day before that, he said, you are lagging in Brahmanical qualities. But by your mercy, it came, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. So, the journey is still going on? Yes, yeah, Guru Maharaj. Yeah. It won't ever end. We're not impersonalists, that you just merge. We're always connected with Krishna and with each other by Krishna and Prabhupada's grace. Uh, this, this has been a wonderful journey. Actually, uh, the heart is full of emotions now because uh, how things changes with a guru in the life, many people, will, they will not understand unless they go through this. I don't want parents to go through this, but I'm sure many parents will take a cue from this that how Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita changes the... Uh -huh. Because that meditation when he was doing and even now when he does, it has a profound impact. Scientifically also they say and, and he chants the Hare Krishna mantra and he's very particular. Yeah, he's very particular. In his 16 rounds he will go out even in the hot sun, he will finish the rounds and come back. At home. Even when he is reading, he will read loudly. 
that is the thing and uh-huh. he understands and he i ask him he's telling why you are asking i said i have to ask what you understand you should discuss with me i said i know everything i said i read that but you should discuss with me that so that you will remember everything <laughs> now we have put him to read all the books that have been written by yes. you also so slowly one book there and one prabhupad's books are there and he will continue his cantos on shrimad bhagavatam and i will for the deity worship i utilize his services at home he is the one who does all the paraphernalia making the lord to sleep next day morning before in the night he'll keep everything ready and come yes kishan i have one query hmm. maraj i would just like to understand that during the idc course i when i listened to jay govin prabhu's lecture so in that lecture he was discussing about prabhupad being a scientist so i just prabhupad being a scientist scientist during his spiritual scientist he was so, he was a pharmaceutical pharmaceutical manufacturer yeah. so not a manufa- he was a businessman actually business. okay. he wasn't involved in researching and yeah. produce he had a laboratory but his he was in it from the business line not from the pharmaceutical line per se yeah so then i just wanted to understand that if prabhupad was challenging the scientists so then how Uh, Srila Prabhupada was, said, uh, Srila was, Prabhupada said, we're not against science, but yeah. we're against them saying that there's no God in yes. the name of science. Yeah. Oh. So I give the similar answer to him actually. So he he picks up now. So you remember mm. when I told him this one, he doesn't understand. But now that understanding has come, Guru mm. Maharaj, he understands the verses now. So we are in the process of teaching him verse with understanding. So this journey will go on, Guru Maharaj, by your mercy. and uh, i really thank you for being so affectionate to us with all the mistakes Hare that Krishna. we have been doing but still we get lot of inspiration and this spending that quality time never we could think that we could sit in front of you for so long and we don't well, i i thought it was a story well worth sharing others may also get inspiration especially those with autistic children and yeah. uh, it's, it's it yeah mothers should give time mothers have to Actually, give time autistic or not autistic yeah. because they are the first gurus and we saw that but her hard work how things change and you know? so for a normal child where they can reach in this case when a child of uh, determination and challenges was able to reach this level if the mothers go home and you know that is what we preach in the classes also many ladies they lost we forced them to leave the job after 6 months or something and said please don't do that now vallabhi mata ji is one ex- one case now yeah. where she was a thorough financial auditor and i told her i said you should give up the job so she said we work for our respect i said do you mean to say that the ladies who are at home have no respect she said absolutely i said so you are telling me that your mother is non respectable because she was a housewife i didn't mean that i said that's what you meant when you say that a lady is at home and she has no value so your mother was a housewife so she made a mistake then she gave up. so sometimes we should have gave up to look after the children after yeah. the children yeah. and now the child are up he's yeah. coming up it's coming up so mm. ganga kirtan and everything at the age of 8 yeah they take advantage guru maharaj especially the autistic children they, they take advantage smart. of such things you know no mama is pampering me i can do anything and then when they grow up like this they won't listen at all by 14 years 15 years we can't hold them there is so much of energy in i've seen the parent who is just catching him when he's 15 14 15 now they don't have the strength and he's having too much strength but you're sometimes. saying the practical effect yeah and uh, today the whole yatra is very happy about gorkesh was getting initiated yeah <laughs> and most of them they just said that it was an exceptional hard work from you parents Through exceptional work, hard work from and parents. you stuck with your belief that he will change then i wrote to them i said this belief was given to me by my guru maharaj in 2005 so the belief does not stay on its own it has to come in parampara i said because otherwise no matter how intelligent or how smart you are it will fizzle off everything has to be connected and offered to the lotus feet of the guru and for this we will be always indebted in this lifetime and a lifetime in future also that uh, this boy has only come out by your words and the acharyas and your 
Hard work. You want to say something? I have a desire mm. to wash your feet. <laughs> yeah, Guru Maharaj, you told me, I said, you put it to Guru Maharaj by yourself. Because it's okay. just getting the lotus feet darshan is enough. First we will should, train you. First you should get trained, then Prabhu then get after. trained. Yes. So whenever Guru Maharaj yes. comes, you can be a part with yes. other senior devotees and yes. see how they do it. And then you can First take yeah. training later on. Afterwards. Because everything has to be done in yes. the proper way. But your desire is very appreciated because that is where we belong to. We <laughs> should be on the lotus feet of our Guru Maharaj. So that is the right way. So we will continue our journey, Guru Maharaj. Hopefully, uh, you will see him a better candidate for in your service. Whatever little bit of teaching you can do, you do it. But first I will train him. Possible. Yeah, that's right. We have to train him first. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you. How do you say that in Spanish? Gracias. Gracias. Yeah. Gracias. Yeah. Yeah. You learn Spanish. What other languages? Tagalog. I have no. I don't know one word in Tagalog. No, I know one word in Tagalog. I know Hare Krishna is in Tagalog also. Yeah. So, there must be so many English words they use. What other language? Uh, Sinhalese. Sinhalese. Yeah, it's Sanskrit based. Yeah, it's a Sanskrit based. Yeah, and it's similar to Hindi. So yeah, yeah. That's why. It's yeah. It's and a North Indian language. And a little bit of Bangla. He has just started. Bangla. Bangla, Bangla Balta Pachish. Uh, Alpa Alpa Bangla Balta Pari. Come down. Hare Krishna. And Nepal. <laughs> I told him you be a linguist so that you can Kishu reach either Siddhanta. Either Siddhanta. And our mother tongue. Pura. Pura. Hare Krishna.